YouTube, what's going on, yo? Another day here in Southern California. Um, got a new scooter in. I did an unboxing and um, I kind of sped it up and everything. So um, I want to talk a little about, about what I got here. So this is the Q30 scooter. It's probably hard to see because it's black on black. Let me move this thing. So there you go. Maybe you can see a little better now. So that's an electric kick scooter for adults. I would not recommend this for your 10 year old or child. Um, as an adult, man, I wasn't ready for the power of this thing. It's it's exciting to ride. It is very exciting to ride. So let me give you some details. Like I said, I got it on Amazon. Electric kick scooter for adults, 2,500 watts, up to 30 miles per hour, which I can vouch for that. I've already taken it for a couple of rides and rode through so I'm uh, check your speed signs and uh, I got 28 miles per hour and the best one I got was 31 miles per hour and uh, every time I went by a speed limit sign that had a radar on it I was in between 28 and 31 miles an hour does pretty good going up hills um, I'm in Southern California and my neighborhood is full of hills I couldn't not even give you details on the angles of the grease but um I'll show you on the ride that I'm going on I'm gonna go for like a six mile ride or so and you'll you'll get a good idea of how this scooter can handle uh, hills sidewalks roads going with traffic you're, you're gonna see it all so it has a uh, 20 to 30 mile range which I don't know if it's gonna do that or not um, I guess maybe if you're gentle on the throttle and stuff, but I don't see the scooter doing 30 miles going hardcore on the throttle the whole way through. So it's a 48 volt, 16 amp hours. Hope I said that right. Has 11 inch heavy duty vacuum off-road tires with hydraulic disc braking. It also comes with like some spare brake pads in the bag, like as well as like some tools, to like put your handlebars on or. Uh, make whatever kind of adjustments that you might need has turn signals on it and um has like lights like right along on here i'll show you in a second but um it's the q30 kick start kick scooter for adults it, it's fun man i i'm not gonna lie the scooter that i had before this is like a little go tracks that does like 15 miles an hour and um i mean it, it, it that's one I would recommend for your kids. I'll do a video on that one a little bit later. Um, it, it, it one's fun to ride too. This one has a rear wheel drive and these huge nubby tires. Out here in California, when I take my bicycle off-road, a lot of times I catch thorns in the tires and I'm always changing inner tubes on that thing. I've taken this thing on the same trails that I get thorns on that thing every time and uh, I pop tires on this scooter I haven't popped the tire yet in fact there's a thorn right there in the tire no problemo you can see the brakes nice big disc brakes there's another thorn you don't have to worry about them you know what I mean so that's why I got this these tires right here alone is why I purchased this scooter so I've had great luck with the tires so far. I've probably put about like 30 or 40 miles on it since I've owned it in the last week and a half, just having fun around the neighborhood. Super fun. You have turn signal controls right here. If you hit the brakes, you get a brake light. You got a horn. If you turn on the lights, you got a tail light, and then you got some cool color changing lights, RBGs, I think is what they're called. And then a nice white crisp LED light, which I've driven this thing at night. Um, that's probably one of my complaints. I wish this thing was a lot brighter because if you're going down a dark road, 30 miles an hour, 
you better be paying attention because you can't see very much with that little light. Um, and I, my other one single complaint is, is that this is in kilometers per hour. We live in the United States here in California, obviously. So um, I looked over this whole thing, this display, tried finding a place to where I could change the kilometers per hour to miles per hour. I don't know if there's a way to make that conversion or not, but that is kind of like my one little complaint. I mean, it's not that big a deal. I could really care less how fast I could go. I already found out how fast a scooter can go, so I, I'm satisfied. I think I only want to find out how fast it can go. Downhill, I have had this thing up to like 65 kilometers per hour according to that speedometer. And uh, I mean, I was going down not too, too steep of a hill, but this thing still gets up and goes. And then another thing that I'm still kind of confused about is that it has two charging ports, which I'm assuming it has two batteries. Cool. But when I charge one, it gets to full charge and I go to plug it into the other one and it's still full charge. So I don't know if uh, like one of these batteries is dedicated to the lights or if they're like wired in series. So they charge up each other when you charge up the one. So I don't really understand why there's two charging ports if I charge up one and it charges up both of them. So uh, I, if anybody has an answer to that right there or how to change this to kilometers per hour to miles per hour, that'd be awesome, man. Drop me a comment in the description, man. I would, I would love uh, someone to let me know. But uh, let me scrap my camera on the scooter and we'll go for a quick ride. You can see how it performs for yourself.
thing, but it has to be pretty compact. You get in real soft sand, like on a beach, no way. Can't ride that here. Sand like this though, no problem. Sometimes it might dig in a little bit. Pretty confident getting up that. Did it no problem. <laughs> 